It's all gonna be good the hood. Don't don't freak out too much. But today we are unboxing probably the most hyped up and most like ridiculously expensive resale set I've seen in absolutely ages. Pokemon Sun and Moon 2. It's been like crazy on eBay. Everyone's reselling it for insane prices. But this one right here, the Alola Moonlight Booster Box, everyone has been losing their mind over. Lycanroc GX. Like this, like look at the box art. It's the most like evil gangster thing you've ever seen of all time. I mean, honestly, it's like part artwork and part the Pokemon. It's the coolest thing ever. Like Mimikyu, we've got Lycanroc, we've got like all the Pokemon in the background, all this sort of like hidden gems, and just like the epicness and dark of that red moon. It is insane. And I, I honestly, I can't portray my hype enough, but I'm so excited to just crack into this one. On the sides there, we've got the obvious like three different pictures of the uncommon artworks there and the holo cards. Then we got the two different barcodes, five cards per booster, 30 boost packs. But without further ado, let's crack into this Alola Moonlight boost box opening. Let's do it. Right, guys, let's stretch it out. Come on, we're gonna wake this flipping werewolf. Let's get this like and rock giving us a uh, fantastic looking GX card. This box has been talked about non stop on Twitter. I'm pretty sure when they announced it in Japan, it was trending for like a week straight just because of the absolute. Look at the artwork. The... Look at the flipping hand drawn artwork. It's so sick. It's got like sort of an edgy dark theme to it. And the Pokemon, the GX choices. Law! Oh! Bro! That's just, look, it's just a regular uncommon card, and the Arwick is to die for. Regular common card. Oh, bro. Look, I haven't, I haven't, honestly, I haven't seen any of this artwork. I haven't really looked at the common and uncommon artworks. And that's for good reason. Otherwise, I'd be like, oh, gosh, I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably die if I saw these on the computer. This is insane. I can honestly see why on eBay right now, this is selling for a lot more than the uh, Islands one. And as it is, the Islands Booster Box is selling for a lot of money. Now it's for- oh. Second boost back in, we pulled the Holo, it's a Chandelure, and uh, he looks like an absolute boss. Do you remember him from like, Pokemon Tournament? Does anyone play as him in Pokemon Tournament? Does anyone actually still play Pokemon Tournament on uh, Wii U? I haven't played that in a hot minute. Put that one at the back, first Holo of the day, I'm completely fine with, but honestly, the way the artwork's looking with those commons and uncommons, it's just as good as pulling a hollow. Now, as far as... Oh! Yo! Hold up again. Whoa! What, what's going on here? He's like floating on the top of the flipping lake. 200? Oh my gosh. This set is to die for. All of these artworks, regular training card. Oh. Japan's doing it for me, I swear. They've like... I don't know, they went from that Pokemon Sun and Moon set, which was cool because it's old brand new Pokemon. And they're like, you know what? We're not done yet. Here's some absolutely incredible Pokemon that you sort of like don't 100% know yet and will give you the most insane artwork to go on top of it. Another holo card! Dude, look at that thing! That looks like a screenshot from the Uncharted game. It's just, it's crazy. And that holo is like a water type holo, so you can kind of see if it looked like underwater. It's got that, I don't know, wavy sort of vibe on top. Oh, it's so damn epic. That is awesome. Leave the, oh gosh, don't sing, don't Titanic on me. Oh gosh, lost a card last episode, that was bad. One from the back, I don't even know what I want. <sighs> what? I think, I, you know what, the card that I really, really am dying to get is a Secret Rare NG card full art. Like, they look ridiculously awesome. Pokemon Stretcher, that's <laughs> it's pretty cool. But yeah, those Secret Rare NG cards are, they're Annihilation, they're pure power, they're really, really cool cards. Honestly though, someone pointed out we didn't get a Rainbow Rare in the last one. That would be fantastic, because I haven't pulled a Rainbow Rare out of Pokemon Sun and Moon 2 yet. But with this, like, brand new set, Alola Moonlight. I'm just pulling, I'm pulling these dope holos, like, another one. Alolan Golem. That's a tongue twister. Alolan Golem, Alolan Golem, Alolan Golem. Alolan Golem. That's super strange. Alright, yeah, put this one at the back. We're literally just pulling holos right now. Oh, gosh. Hopefully, we still get an average box, though. I think we worked out last episode. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold up, hold up. This right here, this is the Secret Rare Full Art card. So pretty much this energy logo on the card you're seeing right now, it's in the middle of the card, and then the rest of it is pure gold, and it's like a full art textured sort of card, and that's the Secret Rare. So that's the uncommon version of it, and I pray that we can see the uh, the full art Secret Rare version of it. Look at these metal cards though. The texture on those bad boys are like nuts. Ah, uh, that's on the front of the booster box, that's like the uh, artwork back here. 
That's pretty epic. All right. Oh, gosh. Dude, I think we're halfway through the uh, packs already. I talk... Oh, <laughs> I get way too excited. Another one. That's two in a row. This is a small set, though, once again. It's only 50 cards, so I think we will start to see a couple of double ups. But we can't be angry with all this sort of different artwork going around right now. All right, let's keep going. Honestly, at this point, with the amount of hollows we picked, I, any GX would be fine. That is epic. Dude, I... Oh. Hopefully I'm not freaking out too much. Hopefully you guys are loving the artwork just as much as me. Definitely leave a comment in the comments there. Oh, bro, it's Metacross GX card. That's, oh my, look at the detail on that thing. There's like, I don't know, there's, what is that? A waterfall going on behind him. He's got like an explosion happening down there. That is insane. And the flipping 150 damage, like that's just an epic looking GX card. One of the, oh, it's so sick. This is kind of where I'm like, you know what, EXs were great, but the fact that GXs have so much more room for awesome artwork or scenarios is really, really awesome, and that's like Metagross taking full advantage of that. Like, that's something that you'd hang up, I reckon, something you put in the front page of your binder. Metagross GX as our very first one. Completely, like, that's, that's fantastic, but I know the artwork's so fantastic in the set, like, check this out. That belongs in Mario Sunshine. I just think we can get something even better. I know there's like... Ama oh! This is it! Yeah, I, I told you, I told you! Metagross, you freaked out, you're like, that's fantastic, no way life can get any better. And then we go and pull the sexiest Lycan Rock GX card I've ever seen. Dude, holy smokes, I've no I haven't even seen that one online. That is, oh my gosh, that is so sick. The cartoony sort of vibe, and like, all the action marks down there. Like, bro, when was the last time that I've pulled a McDouble? It's been ages. I can't even remember the last time I pulled a McDouble. Now the question is, I pulled a McDouble GX cards. <sighs> Dare we even say, can we pull the McTriple? The triple cheeseburger. Let's just go for it. No shake and blow. We're doing so well as it is. One from the back and everyone have your fingers crossed. Blow on your iPads. Shake up your com computer screen. Even if you've got like a desktop computer, you shake that bad boy up for me. And let's go for that triple cheeseburger. Three, two, one. It's cool. It's cool. It's all good in the hood. Regular, regular air trainer card. So that's, that's all right. Let's let's keep it moving, fellas. We can't complain though. Two GXs in the uh, one slot. Is that what it is? Like you get two GXs per slot, maybe. So the second part, like, is where the full arts are always going to be. I don't know. Another holo card as well. Dude, this is just getting ridiculous right now. I swear we're pulling... Wait. Is there a pattern to it? Is it every single second booster pack has something inside of it, like a holo or a GX card? Okay, if that's true, this one should be a regular rare. No, please don't let it be a Pokemon Sun and Moon situation again. Oh! Fellas, put your flipping sleeping caps away. It is not time for rest. Because check out. Dude, how have we pulled two of the most insane looking trainer cards in the entire set? Back to back. Like, literally, we just filmed part number two. Filmed the most coolest, like, full art Pokemon well, yeah, trainer card I've ever seen ever. And then we go and get the flipping, like, soup kitchen lady at the school. She's got a soup ladle. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bro, I love these trainer cards, these full art like sort of people. They are insane. And look at this, full silver sort of artwork. We've got the palm trees in the background, the berries she's holding. And on top of all this, it's a secret rare Pokemon card. Bro, I don't even want to put it out there, but I reckon we could even have like a, a glitch booster box because like pulling three GX or like two GX cards and one full art, and we've still got two booster packs and a whole column to go. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying anything, but I reckon we could be in for a treat. I reckon the second part is going to have some absolute bangers. What do you think of that full card, though? That is insane. The fact that we've pulled two trainers as well. Look how... Oh, it's got like a pink sort of vibe in the background as well. I love it. Oh, this Pokemon Sun and Moon 2 set is actually like the coolest thing ever. They've done so many like right things with it. I approve. I give it 10 out of 10. Leave a comment in the comment section below. What do you think of it? Is it any good? Let's just keep going. I got a feeling we're gonna get nothing at all. Another holo though. 190 for a regular holo card. Oh, mother duck. And also, that does reveal there's no like card trick you can do for the uh, boost packs because it looks like they're randomized completely throughout the booster box. I can't guess it. 
Final boost back though is none other than a regular uncommon, but guys, I am all good in the hood with that. Let's do none other than a crazy looking recap right now. You know what, let's just go from the uh, start to the back. We've got one holo. One of the coolest full art cards I've seen in absolute ages. I still reckon that full art card we pulled in the uh, Islands boost box was a little bit better, but nevertheless, amazing looking full art card. Second holo. Lycanroc GX, oh, the mascot of the box, the mascot of the set. What are the chances? Metagross GX, one of my favorite Pokemon. And then we just got another flipping holo. How many we got? That's third. Fourth. Fifth. Five holo. What? No way. One, two, three, four. I swear we pulled more than five holos. That's so strange. All right. But it makes total sense because I think with the two or three GX cards, yeah, there's like every second boost back ends up having a holo or better in it. That's all good the hook with me. You know what, guys? Let's check out part number two. Let's do this whole column right here. And I just know there's going to be some absolute bangers. So make sure you check it out. Click the annotation right below the face cam. But until next time, guys, I'm going to catch you in the next part. So until then, I'll see you then. You're going to keep on gaming. All right, guys, until next time, see you then.